Well, here's the results of modifying my Blaze Mini Tabletop Pong Arcade game here. Uh, as I told everybody in my last video, I plan on replacing the mechanical encoder and like clickety clickety clickety. This side is still stock. It goes clickety clickety clickety. This side I got the new encoder in. One of these little guys right here. Pretty awesome. Now you would think for two bucks they would have put these in there to make this a whole lot better than those mechanical pieces of because watch this. It's nice and smooth now. I'm not even I'm barely going about a quarter turn. I'm getting clear across the screen. Whereas before my other video I had to go which was a pain. Pretty cool. It was a real simple modification to do to hook up the new encoder in place of the old one. The hardest part of the build was probably getting these decals off on the side. I used a hair dryer to heat up the glue and carefully peeled them off. There's like four screws underneath here, so you got to take these side panels off on both sides. And then when you take them off, you can actually put a little tool here on each side and the control panel will pop up and off to where you get access to the controls underneath. From there, I unplugged the, the old encoder board and then I cut it off and I soldered the new encoder onto the existing harness, plugged it back in, did a little bit of modification to retain the body of this thing inside of here. Basically all I did was take a piece of a tie wrap, cut it to go into that original groove to hold it down, and then I just super glued the body to that. And then at the very end I bent over one of these tabs and super glued to the top of the circuit board so it had be more stable. It works really well as you can see. I don't have any problem controlling this guy now. Hit start. Hit serve. Boop. So it makes playing like Breakout and Pong all these games a lot better. This is what they should have did to begin with. This is what I hope they would have done. I hate that mechanical rotor encoder that they use. It's near impossible to play this crazy thing with it. So let's go check out Pong real quick and I'll show you something really interesting. Hit reset. Let's go up to Pong. And I'll put it on two players. Okay, now watch. See how much more movement I get? And how the mechanical encoder just kind of blips and bleeps around. You gotta turn it multiple times and at a certain speed to get it to respond. Whereas I can go really slow with this one and do fine movements, whereas a mechanical one, every once in a while it'll skip, it'll stop, as you can see there. So it doesn't have enough range, so watch this. So here's a quarter. Well I gotta hit reset again. Duh. Okay, start. Okay. So here's a here's a quarter turn. And here's a quarter turn on this one. <laughs> Big difference. Made it a lot more responsive. Cool. Anyway, that's the modification to this. Uh, if you got one of these, uh, these cost like two bucks a piece. I got it from Newark Electronics. I'll put the part number of this little bad boy down below so you can order one yourself. It's, hooking up the wiring is really easy. Basically, the center tab is the common. So on this, the C wire which has a red stripe would go onto here and then you would put A and B on each side and there you go. If you hook up the wires backwards, the A and B backwards, you'll just, just flip them. You'll notice that the paddle will go the wrong way when you turn so you just flip the wires to get it back working. I recommend testing it out before you put it all back together to make sure you have the A and B channels correctly hooked up on this crazy thing. Anyway, man I ramble a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.